Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick review video and how to set up and install this dash cam. So initially, whenever you unbox it, you'll have all of the, um, you know, the things laid out. I've already taken it all out and taken a look at everything. Uh, and I was in this product for free in order to make this video, but I really just wanted to show you guys um, how it works and things like that. So first and foremost, understanding what you come, what it comes with. Uh, right here is the rear camera. Now this can plug into the main camera or the dash cam. Um, and then you have the actual main dash cam itself right here. This is going to basically be plugged into uh, your car via the USB little plug-in thing. Uh, and then you have the actual power cord for the main camera, the dash cam. You have the mount for the actual dash cam itself. And then of course, just another little mount that you can use as well. So overall, that's pretty much what you get in the product. Now let's go ahead and take you to the car itself and get this all set up and show you guys how to actually put it on. All right guys, so now that I have um, a good view for how to set up, the, how to set this up, you're gonna go ahead and take this cord right here plug it into the actual dash cam underneath, as you can see, just like that. And basically you're gonna go ahead and take the USB part um, and plug it into the actual little, whatever you wanna call this thing, uh, to plug into your car. So you're gonna go ahead and do that. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm plugging the USB into there and then plugging the actual thing into the car. So now we have this that's powered on. Uh, as you can see, it's coming on just like that. And basically where we're gonna put this is right here behind this mirror. So let's go ahead and as you can see, it's on it. You can see my hand, just like that. Go ahead and select. I don't know if it's a touch screen. Okay, so here we go. So okay, it's up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the right time zone. For me personally, go left, or you can go up and down on the sides right here, up, down, navigate to your time zone, and then click with uh, okay with the top button. Uh, and then basically what you wanna do is take your a little mount that you have here you can go ahead and slide it in you can set up the mount first or you can set up the car first it doesn't really matter uh, but just for reference there you go i went ahead and put on the mount and as you can see you can kind of unscrew this how something like this works is you unscrew it and then you can actually turn it so like if this is right here you can turn it all around so that's very nice so i'm just going to go ahead and get this uh taken off so there's just a little film right here I'm gonna slide that off and then basically position it to however you want it, um, right behind your little, uh, your rear view mirror right here. So you're just gonna put it on there, make sure it's stuck on there pretty well, just like that. All right, and then there you go. And then as far as the back camera goes, you can basically plug that in to the actual camera itself. And now that I already put it up there, it might be a little harder to find it, but it's gonna be on this top left side right here. And there you go, I got it plugged in. And then you can actually set this one up to the back of your car. So you just take the little film off. Here we go. Uh, and what I'm now realizing is that this camera right here is actually shown, let me, let me show you guys, right there as well. So as you can see, I am showing myself in the actual back camera right here, and it shows you on the actual screen so that's really nice so you set it up just like that and i'll show you guys the actual back camera as well so that's really nice basically where you want to put this you can take off this little um uh like little sticker right here and then put that on your rear view mirror uh or not on your rear view mirror but on the back of your car right there so i'm going to go ahead and do that once i have all of this set up i'll show you guys the final product all right guys so as you can see i got it all lined up and with the actual wire, I just went ahead and on top of all of this air, top area, you can push the wire all the way back, all the way back. And then you, the only spot that you see it, uh, from my understanding, is just right here. And obviously you can get that, uh, you can use a tape that it came with to kind of tape it down. That way it kind of lines the car to where you can hardly even tell it's there. And then you just go into here. Now this is not a part of the door. As you can see, it, this is the inside of the car. Um, and then it lines all the way down, comes and runs through here. Once again, not a part of the door, goes into here, and then it comes out right here and, and then under the mat. And then from the underneath of the mat, it goes all the way under and it comes out right there. So overall guys, I give this product a 10 out of 10. I absolutely am in love with it. It's really good quality. Plus 
Um, it was super easy to set up. So overall, I give it a thumbs up and I hope you enjoy.